What's up, my Lady Press gang, gang, gang? So today we're going to be using the Young Nails Gel Art Paint and the Madame Glam Gel Art Paint. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit on my palette. You can purchase your palettes from Amazon, Sheen. Um, you can make them yourself. They have them everywhere. So I'm going to um, start out by applying a thin layer to an already polished nail. So what I did was I put white gel polish on the nail and then I matte, to matte top coated it first. And then normally I will go in and I do um, one side, one color, and then the other side, another color on my brush. But this time I just went ahead and just went with the one color down the middle. And then I come in with the white and blend it a little bit on the sides. And then I'll go in and add the green. So I'm gonna just let you guys watch this process. Um, and then I'll tap back in with you guys. And since we're starting out with the basket weave nail, um, after you did your first cure, you're going to go in with the matte top coat. Whatever matte top coat you want to use is fine. But apply a thin layer of the matte top coat and then go ahead and cure that. All right, so now that we have cured the matte top coat, this is where we will go in and reverse the colors. So where there's white, you'll add green. Where there's green, you'll add white. And you'll just make sure you blend them just like you did the first round.
Also, I feel like I should have used a thinner brush or um, I should have did thinner lines, but I didn't and I was just trying to make it work. So basically what I'm doing is instead of doing the white first, I just went ahead and applied the green at the edges and then I will go back in with the white um, on the sides at the far sides that way that it can blend and then you can see the white as well i hope i'm not confusing y'all but if you're watching you should understand what i'm doing Okay, so once you're happy with the look and your lines are as they should be, um, just get you some acetone. Do not cure it, but get you some acetone and a smaller brush and then just wipe the lines wherever, however you want to design it. So I'm just going straight across and um, wiping it with my brush and, and a little bit of acetone and then that will make the effect and then so once you got the look that you desire you can go ahead and cure it and then top coat it with matte top coat or gloss top coat whichever one you want to use Right, so now that we've cured it, this is what it will look like before you add your um, top coat. And I should have put a line at the very bottom, but I didn't. I like the way it looked like this, but we're just gonna go ahead and apply some more matte top coat for the finish coating. And then I will show you guys how to do the reverse ombre, or I don't know what to call that design, but yeah. I'll call it the double ombre, the double reverse ombre. I don't know. What are y'all calling it? What do y'all call it? Let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you guys like, share, follow, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get into this other design. Okay, so for this one, you can go ahead and add your first layer of gel polish if you prefer to do so. Um, you can use gel polish, you can use the gel paint, whatever you desire, you can use it, it's possible. But I did not apply um, a layer of gel polish, I just went straight in with the gel art paint and we're just gonna add our lines and then we're gonna blend it. So one side is gonna be green, the other side is going to be white. And then we're gonna make sure that we have a blend in the middle of the nail.
All right, so I'm taking it straight from the lamp. I didn't apply any top coat, any matte top coat. Um, I'm just going straight in and I'm putting the green over the white and then the white over the green and making sure that it is, it's blended. Dang, I got tongue tied there. But just making sure that it's blended down the middle, just like we did the first round. Um, I'm going down the edges some so that when I go in to clean up to do the French line, that it'll be right. Um, so yeah, guys, this is basically it. You'll go in and clean up and make sure that you make your French line to get that effect that you're looking for. Um, also, if you want like the white to be on the white side, then you'll just clean up from the white side first and then go the opposite way on the other side but i went straight across from the white all the way over because i like the way that the white was dragged over to the green side if that makes sense you'll see it once i get finished once i start cleaning up but i'm rambling right now and i am so sorry i'm trying to hurry up with this video but if you made it this far i appreciate you guys so much thank y'all for supporting we are almost at 2k and yeah that way but yeah make sure you like share follow subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my videos and if you have any questions drop it in the comment box below if you guys have any recommendations on videos y'all want me to do y'all can drop that in the comment box and thank you guys for the support and i will see y'all in the next video peace out